Hello everyone and welcome to my Wizard 101 on Linux tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Wizard 101, the regular client, as well as the Steam version of Wizard 101. I'm going to be doing this on Ubuntu 24, but you can do this on any other Linux distribution as well. Uh, this method is way easier than what you have seen previously if you looked at any previous videos. Uh, this, is, this one's pretty direct, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how. So first thing we want to do is we want to open terminal. You can do that by on your keyboard, control alt T, or you can just click down here and then click terminal, does, does the same thing. And we wanna enter some commands first. So first we wanna add 32 bit architecture. All you gotta do is type in sudo dpkg space dash dash add dash architecture. And then I 386. And all these commands are gonna be in the description. So if you don't feel like typing them out, I'll uh, put them in the description and you can just copy paste. And then you want to type in your password and we should have I386 on our system now. So what we want to do is sudo apt update. All right, and once that's done, we need to install a couple things before we go ahead and get wizard. We need to do sudo apt install. We need to download lib gl I386. We need to download lib same one i386 and then we need to download lib c6 dash i386 and then enter oh i, I typed that wrong let's see lib, lib gl1 sorry and then you want to press y hit enter all right so once that's done we want to upgrade our system now i'm going to go ahead and clear the terminal so it's easier to read and we're going to go ahead and upgrade sudo apt upgrade dash y and while this upgrade thing goes on we need to go ahead and install wizard 101 so i'm going to open my web browser in this case it's firefox and if you guys are using ubuntu it's probably going to be firefox unless you downloaded something else and I'm going to go to wizard101.com slash game slash how dash to dash download. It's going to take us to this. And we're going to click on Chromebook instructions. Now, just stick with me for a second. We need to download the Chromebook version, which is really just a dev package, which means it's really just a Linux version. And... We'll just close that for now. We got to wait for this to finish first anyway. All right. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and just close this terminal out. And then I'm going to click here on the files. And then I'm going to go to downloads. And then once I'm in downloads, I'm going to right click and then click open in terminal. And then from here, I'm going to do sudo dpkg space dash i and then whiz and then i'm gonna hit tab so auto completes again the commands will be in the description now i'm gonna press enter type out my password all right so once that is done we're just gonna type wizard 101 in a terminal or you can just click down here and then click wizard 101 right here it'll do the same thing but since we're already in the terminal i'm just gonna go ahead and type it out and press enter it's gonna ask for your password just type it out it's going to tell you that we need to download a couple more things. Just hit enter and you should see the wizard on one thing pop up. Just now type out your account stuff. And, you know, remember username, whatever, just hit login and it should start the download process there and you can play wizard one one. Oh, and also if you don't want to constantly run wizard one one in the terminal, all you got to do is go here, look for was 101, and you can just drag it to your bar here. Or you could drag it to the desktop if you like, but now all you gotta do is click it. All right, now let's download the Steam version. Now first we're gonna need to update or install curl. So go back to your terminal, control alt T, and do sudo apt install curl. Type in your password. And that should be done. Now, what we need to do is go download Steam. You would do this kind of similar to how you would on Windows. Just type in Steam download in your browser. And then scroll down and download Steam. It should say install Steam. It's going to be steampower.com. Hit install Steam. And if you're on Debian-based 
Linux distribution like Ubuntu, you're going to get a dev package. Just click this right here and then right click and then open in terminal. Now, once we're in the terminal, we do sudo dpkg i, and then we're going to do steam and then press tab. It should auto complete and then type in your password and it should already be downloaded. Now we just type steam and then press enter. You might get this pop up, just click enter, type in your password, enter again. And then you just press enter again. Y, enter, enter again. And now Steam should be downloading. All right, so once Steam is done downloading, all we need to do is sign in as we normally would. And I'm gonna use my phone here to sign in. All right, once you're signed in, it should look very familiar. All you gotta do is now go to press right here, Steam, and then go to settings and then go to compatibility and you want to enable steam play for all other titles. It's going to ask you to restart, just hit restart. All right. So once your steam is finished restarting, all you got to do is go to your library and then go to wizard 101. If you don't have wizard 101 in your library, all you got to do is go to the store and then on the search bar, type in wizard 101 and it should be right here and you can just install it right here but I already have it. So I'm going to go to the library and I'm going to go ahead and install wizard 101. I'm going to install it to my local drive. And as you can see, steam is downloading the necessary things to run wizard 101 and other steam games on Linux. All right. So once these downloads are completed, we can just go ahead and start wizard 101. And all you have to do is sign in and you're done. Now I don't have a Steam Wizard 101 account, so I won't do this, but all you gotta do is the same exact thing as last time. Anyways, that's it. If you guys have any problems, just put it down in the comment section and I will try to help you. Also, if you have a Chromebook, I will be making a video on how to download Wizard 101 on a Chromebook. So be on the lookout for that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.